I'll make me a bicycle. Hey guys, this is Extreme Will with Extreme Tech. So this is be another video that I'm gonna ruin before I do the video. Um, my cinematography in this is amazing. Uh, my acting in this is amazing. It's written, produced very, very well. Uh, the content of it is, uh, it's a wash. Um, I tried on my 3080 pads, or the 3090 pads again. I apparently don't have the right pads again. Um, I did have to do some stuff, so I mean, you could learn some stuff. Uh, I'd, uh, do my best to make it work, because I could not just put the card back in and throw it back in my machine after taking it apart to the level I had. Um... Because those old pads that were in there were going to be complete junk. Uh, they were just completely shredded. I don't even think... They, I don't know if this card would have even booted. Uh, I put some random junk pads in. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just going to ruin it. And, um, yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, there's some good stuff in here. So, it's still just kind of a... How do you just make stuff work sometimes? Um, um, more pads are going to be ordered. I'm going to go run to Best Buy right now. I don't know if they have anything or not. I need to go there for other stuff. Get for Chia Farming. So, um, yeah, I'll go see what I can get there. Come back. I'll probably order the pads when I get back. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Hey, guys, how's it going? It's your boy Extreme Will back here with Extreme Tech. We're going to do it. It's the day of reckoning. We're going to finally do the thermal pads on my RTX 3090 XC3 Ultra. Um, I am scared to death to try to do this. Uh, this card costs more than the majority of my entire mining operation. So, um, yeah, uh, we're going to do the thermal pads in it. Um, I'm kind of excited and terrified all at the same time. So let's get into it and see how all this goes. Okay, so the first step I need to do here is take out the GPU. We have a little bit of problem here when it comes to the back tab. It doesn't want to come off, so I'm going to use a screwdriver to kind of force it out. Alright, now that we got the card out, we'll take a look at it, try to figure out uh, where all the different screws are and such. I'm going to take the back plate off first, take all the screws out. They're all the same size, it doesn't matter if you mix them all up, you probably pay a little bit of attention. These ones here in the back, uh, they do have a bolt on them. Um, the ones that you plug your video adapter into. So these are a little different. Make sure you don't lose that bolt on the bottom. So next we can take off the warranty sticker here. That's in a little different spot than I was used to. It threw me off a little bit. I uh, kind of scraped it off with my little scraper tool and got it. So for fun here, I did take off the uh, back fan plates on accident. It's a 1.5 Allen wrench. You don't need to do it um, for what I was at, but uh, you, you can. Okay, so we have a huge problem. These are not 3mm pads like I thought they were when I was kind of looking at it while it was inside the card still. Those are 2mm pads and I do not have any Extreme Odyssey thermal pad 2mm. All I have is a bunch of packets of 3mm left over. So I'm going to be forced into using some random junk pads that I have lying around. Inside the card looks insane too, so we'll see what happens when I get in there. It looks like there are several different size pads in there. So I'm probably going to need to order a bunch, and we'll see what happens when I get in there. So next I just clean all that junk off the back. So fresh and so clean, clean. So I don't have good 2mm pads, so I'm literally putting in just random 2mm. Um, all I had was 3mm pads, so they were not the size I was expecting, so we'll see how this goes. Then put the back plate on, and put the screws back in. Bolts weren't too hard to in the end too. Put the card back in. Let's see here, will she fire up at all? 
Now this, I mean, honestly, right now, I don't know if anything is really going to surprise me any which way or other. Um, yeah. I took pads out that looked like they were probably pretty bad. Um, I put in pads that I have no clue on, so I would not be shocked if the car simply doesn't even fire up. Um, right now, this is looking good so far. I'm not hearing any beeping. Uh, everything looks like it's running. It's on, it's posting. I don't like the fact that my camera does not actually be able to record this. Remind me later. I don't know why it's under it. Oh, that's nice. I didn't have to actually log all the way in. So, it's you running. Yes. You run my hardware info, sensor only, MSI Afterburner. Yes. Nice hash. I turned everything set to not to auto run. So. See, I don't like this resolution at all. This resolution is killing me. Alright. So, right now, temperature wise, we look great. Uh, it's set for full power. We're definitely not going to run full power. Alright, let's tinker with the settings for a second and try and see what we can do to get it all locked in as best as possible. I feel safe with these temperatures with running it at 96 degrees uh, GPU memory junction temperature. So I actually, it's underachieving, it was underachieving before, but with me down clocking it to get to a point where it was safe, uh, where I felt like it was safe to run with the, the GPU memory junction temperature below 100. Um, I was trying to run about 95. I'm still trying to run about 95 right now if it's only going to do 96. I'm okay with leaving it at 96 for a couple of days until I get more pads in. Um, but this is about the same temperature as I was running it a couple days ago. But it looks like I'm actually getting 8 more mega hash <laughs> with just replacing those back pads with complete garbage pads? It looks like it's better. I'm getting a better mega hash now with everything turned way down. But it's still turned way down. It's clearly not where I want it to be at. Uh, you know, it's, it just kind of seems like a lot of like the, the struggling with the pains. Um, I think I'm pretty good with the MSI Afterburner, one of the things I really like about it. Uh, I don't think it takes that long to completely master the program. Figure out right now to get my temperatures where I want them or about where I want them. Oh, okay. It's looking like maybe it's going to be 84, 85 mega hash. So, yeah, effectively I put the junk pads in. Maybe I'm getting about 3 mega hash more. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's still not really where I want to be. I need to get better pads. Um, 